Last week, we ventured around La Paz, visiting some of Mexico's most beautiful beaches and indulging in delicious vegetarian food. This week, we're driving further south to Todos Santos in search of mountain biking, eating Oceanside at a bucket list level restaurant, and finding unexpected treasures. Trails. Bienvenidos a Baja. Oh, these croissants are to die for. We're definitely eating here again tomorrow. Check, mic, one, two. Uh, we just rolled into Todos Santos and we stopped at that fruit market. And then we came to one of the free camp spots on the beach. This spot is, this whole area is really popular among surfers, but Evan and I don't surf. And I don't think I'd be very good at surfing. So I'm not gonna try, maybe he will. For now, there's also mountain biking really close by. We can actually ride from this camp spot to the trails. So I sent Evan out on a little scoping mission to check out the trails before we take the whole crew, meaning Penelope and I and the cameras and all of that. Hopefully he comes back with good vibes, good news. Let's see what he has to say about it. Evan got back excited about his ride, but he was even more excited about the horses that followed him back to camp. So, how did it go? Doing great. Um, looks like the lighting's gonna be best in the morning. Not a morning person, but Get where are we going? The legs warmed up. You've, you've barely ridden. But I'm, I'm having Evan change really, really fast and I need to change, cuz where are we going? Green Hut. The Green Just one look at their website had us sold. So we're on our way to the blue room, or the green room. And it uh, looks packed from this distance. We're still, still 0.05 miles out. I read that they take reservations, so hopefully we don't need a reservation. It is a Friday night, but I thought it was kind of like, I don't know, late in the season. The camping area is pretty empty, but it looks packed. Stay tuned. <laughs> These are American prices though. <laughs> I think uh, our whole meal this morning cost as much as the guacamole. <laughs> are you serious? No, it did 25, so half. <laughs> so that'll put our other meals back into perspective. <laughs> Look at this wave, it's massive. Oh my god. Even these towels are really cute. <laughs> Okay, we got our meals. The battery just died. On this camera. It looks delicious. Sun setting. Did you get sunset? Veggie tacos Check the and sunset. popotla. Sunset. I don't know how I'm gonna pick these up. Me neither. I was like, wait, did I get a taco? And then I saw one little corner of a shell. <laughs> We're walking back to camp now. It's only about a quarter mile. I was just doing the math on how much our meal costs. It was $39. That includes a 20% tip, which is not the cheapest you can get in Baja by any means, but also not very expensive considering. You can't put a price on the view. You can't put a price on the view. And we got an appetizer and we got like a natural juice drink, which usually rank, ra racks up your bill. That wasn't too expensive. I'm happy with that. We brought a lantern with us, thinking we were gonna have to walk back in the pitch black. <laughs> but luckily the sunset is lighting things up for us.
Welcome, welcome. Hola, buenos dias, todos los santos. The weather is great today. Cloudy, so we're going to get some biking in. This should be a great time. I'm thinking about hitting multiple trails if Melanie lets me. But currently, Melanie's still asleep. Hey, talk to that one. Wait, she already went out and did her duties. top no whales right now <laughs> it's too late in the season but there is some cool rock formations and this is a fun little ride very very scenic chill some good little climbs let's see this is a good find evan just went down to that peak on a trail that i didn't even know was there so i'm gonna try and go meet him my legs are still super sore for like a regular. Oh, okay, that was the entrance. We're still super sore <laughs> from digging ourselves out of sand. So this is not the most comfortable. Wow, it's squirrely. Oh my God, not where I want to set my foot down between two cactus. Luckily, I made it down the offshoot to find Evan and Penelope overlooking the edge of a cliff. <laughs> I think so, by saying that there was nice cloud coverage. <laughs> the clouds are leaving. So we're pouring water on Penelope because it got a lot warmer and it is midday, so there is no shade. So we're gonna cut this ride a little short. Although we already rode a lot. Take your time, Susie. Probably supposed to take those rocks. But here we are. Oh, yeah, good. Good job, Nellie. Good girl. Jump, jump, jump. What? Jump. What jump? Oh, that. Oh my God, I'm sink into that. <laughs> Lane change. <laughs> from riding and going to grab some lunch. We were planning to cook our own, but there's so many great restaurants in town that look delicious. So let's go try one of those.
you got back from the buffet, huh? It's been a while since I went to a buffet and it's just kind of getting a little crazy. Can we really eat all that? I don't know. Somebody described this place as like going to eat at grandma's house and I'd say that's pretty accurate. Cause there's a lot of food. He offered to bring his tortillas to the table. Right now. One plate done, how do you feel? Good. Three more to go. Oh, Get our money's worth. <laughs> Tortillas are fresh. They're hot. You can tell. Look at that. It's so good. Are you prepared for the food coma that's gonna no, follow? We're gonna go for a ride after this. Gross. <laughs> Kevin had me go get him one more fresh tortilla. Oh yeah, I gotta load it up the with lady, uh, the rest of my topping. The lady was really pounding out the flour, her corn. <laughs> no crying. The buffet isn't for you. I did like one and a half plates and <laughs> I'm beyond stuffed. <laughs> Looks so full. They do have a little sticker here that says try not to waste food, so I'm trying to not get ahead of myself. He did it. He finished everything. What'd you expect? How do you feel? Oh. <laughs> With our bellies full, we headed out the door, but not before embarrassing Penelope. On these trails some locals I think they are locals this morning told us to hit them up for sure I headed off to one of the most popular trails in the area Sierra Madre it's a fun cross-country trail through beautiful desert landscape but it takes you in so the breeze from the coast vanishes so if you're gonna ride this trail on a hot day make sure you get after it early Hola. Buenos dias. Just did uh, my ride, did the whole thing, and I'm still in a food coma somehow. That's too bad because I think I'm gonna go find us some ice cream. Are you kidding me? Ice cream bowl. Mango, let's take the first bite. Ouch. Mm. Oh, that's refreshing. I like it. I think we might have to come back here tomorrow. Oh, wow. What do you think? I've been thinking I'm obsessed with pricing, but I'm pretty sure you guys want to know how much one of these was. 25 pesos. That's pretty cheap. And this is mango made with water. They also had it with milk, but I wanted water. These people got stuck in a great spot. Definitely could have dug themselves out. <laughs> Where is their hard work? So we are still at Todos Los Santos. This is just saw a tail fin. We were told all the all the whales were pretty much gone for the season. 
but we just spotted a couple. Am I hearing seals or am I hearing whales? I don't know, maybe a little bit of both. Or birds. Let's go check it out. the scenic like beach route overlooking the ocean uh that we did yesterday in the morning it was again very very warm but it's such a pretty trail i just wish there were a couple more shady spots for penelope but if you're gonna be in todos santos i highly recommend that trail i i liked it a lot i personally didn't ride the other ones but evan didn't make them seem like it was something that i really needed to get out there and ride immediately fun funnest to ride yeah this one's definitely not super fun to ride. I'd say it's fun. I think the beauty factor ups the fun level for me, for sure. Yeah, the booty factor helps the fun. <laughs> so we're going to go down to El Pescadero. Um, there's a co-op that I want to stop at. There's a wasp outside my window. Almost, almost, okay. almost, 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 almost. <laughs> <laughs> that store is really, really cute. And I know some people are going to be like, that is not authentic Mexican, but it was really cute. We headed to our final destination with few expectations. It was just a dirt road off the side of the highway with a handful of iOverlander reviews. stopped here to make some lunch. We might end up yeah. sleeping here, I don't know. Um, yeah, we're getting comfortable here. <laughs> My overalls are falling. Ooh, aye, aye, aye. Evan made us tacos, no surprise. We've been actually finding a bunch of um, really great produce lately. At the northern end, it was grim picking, but it's getting a lot better. So we've been excited at the grocery stores, but we've also been eating at restaurants. So it's time we take a little break and get through all of the food that we've purchased and has been sitting in the van. Lots of mangoes to come. It's funny how the less research stops are often our most memorable. I would have preferred not getting stuck in sand on our first day of this Baja journey, but otherwise we welcome the surprises along the way. And there are a lot more surprises to come here in Baja. Patrons who are making films like this one possible. 